What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Admiral Beckett Ghost Ship. I hope you're excited to steal some stuff or uh, strategically acquire it from our opponent. That's the... Uh, the corporate pirate lingo, if you don't know that. But, yeah, what's up, everybody? Hope you're ready to steal some stuff. Uh, we are playing Admiral Beckett. Well, hopefully our opponent doesn't have to mulligan past five. Okay, they do not. We'll let them get their uh, get their turn going. Playing against Xenagos. Should be a fun match. Uh, we are playing Admiral Beckett. Other pirates you control get plus one, plus one at the beginning of your instep. Gain control of target non -line permanent. If you attacked with... If a perps... If a... Player was dealt combat damage by three or more pirates this turn. Sorry for that. Uh, kind of stumbled out the gate on that one. Um, let's go and get the Volcanic Island down. Let's go and go for Faith is Looting. Yeah, I think we're okay with that. Let's go for Faith is Looting. Kind of dig a little bit deeper and see if we can't uh, find some weapons for Admiral Beckett and some other pirates to kind of get onto the battlefield. Lightning Greaves Gamble, Biden of Thassa. Um, I guess at this point... A little far away from Conspiracy. I'd like to have it. It's definitely good in the deck. But if we have Gamble, we can turn it into our uh, Arcane Adaption if we want to. So let's go and chunk Conspiracy. And we need to get rid of one more. Definitely want to hold on to our lands. I like Hostage Taker in this one. I guess Arcane Denial? We could get rid of Biden of Thassa. Yeah, I actually do like Arcane Denial. Let's get rid of Biden of Thassa. Oh, I'm okay with that. Anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. Play against Xenagos. A God of Revels. Indestructible Devotion 7 turns into a creature. Then at the beginning of combat... There we go. Uh, then at the beginning of combat, uh, another target creature you control gains haste and gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is that creature's power. All right. But yeah, as far as Admiral Beckett goes, I've got about... We're actually not running that many pirates in here, which is kind of... And I'll kind of explain that here in a second. I'm just going to get the Drowned Catacombs down. I guess go ahead and go for Lightning Greaves. We could gamble for Arcane Adaption. Yeah, let's go and go for that. I'd like to get that on the battlefield, and then I'll, I'll kind of explain what we've got going on as far as uh, gambling for stuff like Conspiracy and the other ones. Let's go and grab that Arcane Adaption, see if it sticks into the... <laughs> Alright, we lose Lightning Greaves, I'll take that. Alright, then we're going to go and pass it back over to our opponent. So, uh, when I was building Admiral Beckett, I had a lot of pirates in the deck, but um, I, I just felt like running a ton of pirates in the deck was really, you know, you're getting a, be a benefit from Admiral Beckett, but I kind of wanted to go for something a little bit more, like, unblockable. So, I have a lot of creatures in here that are unblockable, uh, stuff like Tormented Soul, I think that's the name of it, it's the one-drop black creature from the core sets, uh, that it can't be blocked and can't block. Um, so, we're going to use stuff like Arcane Adaption to get that down to make sure all of our creatures enter the battlefield as pirates, and then we can... Um, just make sure we can always uh, trigger Admiral Beckett. Let's go ahead and get the... We need to get down. We need to get a, grab another red source off that one. Let's go ahead and grab the... Get the swamp down. Let's go for Arcane Adaption. And then we're going to go ahead and name Pirate on this one. That way all of our creatures enter the battlefield or there'll be a Pirate in addition to the other types. And then we can really start pushing in the Admiral Beckett uh, triggered abilities. And actually we'll probably end up going for Admiral Beckett uh, next turn. Our opponent's off to kind of a slow start. So I'll definitely want to take advantage of that. All right, anything else? We're going to go and pass the turn. Now, we do have Hostage Taker in the hand. Uh, hostage Taker is a pirate, so if our opponent does get some sort of early threat out there, uh, we can go for Hostage Taker. Uh, but if not, next turn, probably going to get down Admiral Beckett. That way we can get the uh, get the clock going, and hopefully we can start stealing some stuff, and our opponent's not mana screwed or anything like that. But yeah, I found that, you know, some of the pirates have flying, and we do have some pirates in here. Like, I do have the, um... Oh, what is it? The, uh... The Dire Fleet Ravager or something? It's the Black pirate that's really cool looking uh he's in there because that's a great way for us to um kind of help us cl not close the game out but get our opponent's life total down to where we can start swinging with some of our unblockable creatures and we're also you know you would not be a pirate without some sort of sword so we're running about three or four pieces of these swords of uh, swords of blank and blank so we have sword of fire and ice in here uh feast and famine and i think there's another one i can't remember exactly which one it is but we do have the swords in here to go for admiral beckett and we're also running a couple of different uh, redundant card draw style artifact uh, equipment, like uh, Mask of Memory, I think, that's what it's called. And then, yeah, you can see we're running stuff like Demir Infiltrator. Can't be blocked. It's going to really help us push the Admiral Beckett game plan. Um, let's go and get the Polluted Delta down. And actually, we just go Demir Infiltrator. I think I like that. We can get that down, and then we get down Admiral Beckett next turn. Uh, we can start swinging in. And we can still leave up Arcane Denial. Because, yeah, um, yeah, let's go and cast it. I, I thought I'm okay with that. Get that down. We're going to have a Spirit Pirate, which is really cool. <laughs> That's kind of what I ended up naming it... Uh ghost ship or go yeah ghost ship or whatever because uh they're so they're unblockable and just reminded me of like this uh pirate ghost ship that's just floating in the night getting ready to steal all of your stuff so 
Uh, but at this point right now, uh, we do have Polluted Delta. If our opponent gets down anything kind of juicy, we'll go for Arcane Denial. Uh, if not, we're just going to crack and grab a secondary red source to make sure we have it. Hedron Archive. Do we want to pop that to get some card draw going? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Maybe we can save it for Xenagos or something like that with Arcane Denial. Uh, let's go and crack the Polluted Delta once they pass priority over to us. We'll see what else they're going to get down. They did make the land drop for the turn. Looks like they're missing out on red mana, which is a bummer. Okay, let's go and grab that Steam Vents. Have that come into play tapped. I'm not going to pay two on this one, though. We are good. And then kick it back over to our turn and see what else we can get into. But yeah, so we're running a lot of the unblockable creatures, and um, I just found that the pirates are really cool, but having that unblockable and then just finding some way to kind of get down something like Arcane Adaption really helps you kind of push this nice uh, combat damage game plan. In fact, um, let's go ahead and get down Admiral Beckett. That way we can take advantage of that Lord ability. So we're looking at blue, black, red, and then black. Get down Admiral Beckett. And then we'll go and put Canyon Sloth into play tapped, because we don't have a way to go for that. Hopefully our opponent finds a red source. I always hate it when our opponents are uh, our mana screwed. That's not fun. Let's go and swing it for two. Can't be blocked. And now we're on about a 15-turn uh, clock, which, hey, if it keeps going this way, we'll win the game. All right, swinging it for two. And then anything else. We're going to kick it over to our opponent. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun with Admiral Beckett, and it's kind of fun not having a ton of pirates in here, because we get to get, run some really good uh, Grixis, uh, good stuff cards in here. So we have like Vendillion Click, uh, we have Thada, which is, you know, you could almost consider Thada a pirate, since she does have island work, island walk, and she steals artifacts. So that would, uh, she's basically an honorary pirate to begin with. Okay, opponent's uh, cracking the Hedron Archive to get some card draw going. And then, once again, keeping our finger... Oh, there they go. Beautiful. Get the Cinder Glade down. Now, they do have one, two, three, four. They have four total mana, so we'll see. They can't go for Xenagos just yet. Um, we do have Hostage Taker. That will be our third pirate to get down. Unfortunately, we can't swing in with Hostage Taker just yet. Um, but that's definitely something we can use to our advantage to kind of gain a little bit of a tempo play. And especially if we start swinging in and, um, and getting those Admiral Beckett triggers going to start gaining control of our opponent's stuff. Okay, opponent goes for Aether Chaser. Okay. Enters the battlefield, you get uh, two energy attacks, and you create pay two, cut on the servo. Okay. Maybe this is red green energy? That'd be pretty sweet if it is on Xenagos. All right, get the two energy on the battlefield. And the good thing with the 2 1 is that it does have first strike, but since we have a 3 3 with Admiral Breckett, um, we can actually go and swing in. Fist of the Ironwood. Create two sapling tokens. All right, go for it. Get those tokens on the battlefield. And if my speech is a little funny during this video, there's like a, a, somehow I nicked my tongue. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I did it when I was sleeping or something, but um, there's a certain way when I, uh, if I say certain words, it kind of hurts. So I'm trying not to irritate it. So if I kind of pronounce some words kind of funny, well, you know, I know I do it normally to begin with. <laughs> but just in case you're wondering why, yeah, that's it. All right, so we draw into Uwazama's Jitte, which is actually a really good draw. So we can swing it with the Demir Infiltrator. We're going to get the two charge counters on there. We can minus one on the Sapling Token and minus one on the Aether Chaser if we want to. So it's going to be equipped for two, four, and then shock the Watery Grave. We'll have Arcane Denial up. I think I like that. It's going to shock the Watery Grave in. And then also, with us not having a ton of pirates, it kind of puts us in this kind of this Voltron unblockable game plan to where, you know, if we don't have the pirates go in, um, you know, the thought of gaining control of an Aether Chaser doesn't sound that exciting. And so um, you can kind of push this sort of Voltron game plan where you can swing in with some really good utility stuff. Let's go and equip it onto the Demir Infiltrator. And we're still living up two mana for Arcane Denial, so we'll be in a good spot next turn to catch the Xenagos. All right, let's go and swing in. We're not going to swing in with Admiral Beckett because we don't want to lose Beckett through a... Uh, a triple block over there. All right, swinging in. And we're just going to take care of the uh, the Aether Chaser. That way they don't get any more tokens onto the battlefield. Okay, going to deal that combat damage, uh, combat damage, put those charge counters on there. And let's just go and take uh, care of the uh, the Aether Charger over there. Chaser, excuse me. And then we'll still have leave one more charge counter on there. Anything else, now we're going to go and pass the turn. But yeah, so if they do go for Xenagos, probably going to go for Arcane Denial. They're going to get to draw two cards and get some other sort of game plan down. If they go for a big value creature, we'll probably use Arcane Denial. But we could let it pop down on the battlefield since we do have Hostage Taker. And uh, we are sitting at about six mana, so we could definitely take advantage of the Hostage Taker. I love this card. Um, if you haven't seen I, I know it's making pretty big waves in Standard, but if you haven't seen it, uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, exile another target creature or artifact until it leaves the battlefield, and then we get to cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. Uh, we can spend our mana on any color to kind of cast that spell. Okay, opponent's going for Elemental Bond. Don't think we want Arcane Denial that one, though. We're okay. 
And then, yeah, this is why if you go all in pirates, going for that pirate combat damage, you kind of end up in a certain scenario to where get the oh yeah, this is energy or something like that. Yeah, let's go on for Arcane Denial. Let's, we need to get a couple more pirates going. Uh, we still have Hostage Taker to take care of Xenago, so we can send it back to the command zone. And then we'll give our opponent to kind of draw into something else, and we'll draw another card during the next turn. Start swinging in. And then we get a couple more charge counters on the Uwazama's Jitte and kind of start taking care of those uh, sapling tokens over there. Okay. And let's see if they're going to swing in with the sapling tokens. Uh, if they do, we'll chump block them more than likely than not. Okay. And, but that does put us in a spot to where we can push in with Admiral Beckett on this one. Alright, so we're going to draw a card. See what we draw into. Yeah, you know, probably could have saved Arcane Denial for our opponent's commander. But um, I did want to get a little bit of card draw going. I want to get a little more action over here. Okay, and they're going to draw two cards. We do draw into the Soldier, which can't be blocked, which is going to be good. It's going to come down as a Pirate, so we'll actually be online active for Admiral Beckett next turn. So we can actually get down the Soldier this turn and then be online for Hostage Taker. Okay, they draw their two cards. So we draw for the draw step. Hero's Downfall. Good draw, I'll take that. I do you want to go and push in on this one? Yeah, let's go and swing in. And we'll go and swing with the whole crew too, so that we can get some combat damage. Or if they just want to chump block with the sapling token, they can go for that. Alright, swing in with the whole Admiral Beckett and the uh, Demir Infiltrator. And there's just, oh. <laughs> it never gets old getting down Arcane Adaption and just having this whole motley crew, this whole gaggle of pirates out there. Alright, we're going to see a chump block on the sapling token. That's fine. Put two charge counters on there. We're just going to go and hold on to these charge counters as a uh, as kind of a secondary source of removal. Let's go and get down the soldier onto the battlefield. Okay. And that still leaves us online for Hero's Downfall next turn. And then we can also go for the Uzzah and Jitte charge counters. Anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun with Admiral Beckett. It's kind of like... Um, you know, sometimes when you build certain commanders, uh, like Gitrog, Gitrog is a front and center commander. Like, you want to really utilize Gitrog's ability, card draw ability, so you're definitely going to build your deck around Gitrog. Um, this particular build of Admiral Beckett is a little bit more just kind of good stuff. And, um, you know, we're not 100% pirates, but it's always fun to kind of build a deck that, um, you know, can win without its commander. Like, when you're playing Gitrog, you can win without Gitrog, but the games that you get Gitrog down, you're going to win a lot more games. Um, in playtesting for Admiral, Admiral Beckett, I mean, there, I probably had three or four games where I just never got down Admiral Beckett, and we were just kind of going Uzama Jitte and sort of blank and blank, um, swinging in with unblockable creatures. So that was really good. But you can kind of see where this really helps going with this sort of, um, hopefully you draw into a tutor and get down Arcane Adaption. You can really start swinging in with some of these creatures that can't be blocked. Because some of these pirates, even though they do have flying, uh, trample, uh, whenever, it deals six or, whenever it deals six or more damage to an opponent, destroy target land that player controls. Okay. And that does not have haste. They are going to get a 3-3 beast onto the battlefield. Is that correct? No, they're just going to draw a card. Okay. Draw a card off the elemental bond. Now, we do have Hero's Downfall. We can take care of the uh, Calamity, and that's going to allow us to push in past that, and we can go for the Uwazama's Jitte on the Sapling Token. Now, they don't really have a lot out there for us to steal. Um, elemental Bond, that's it, but... Um, you know, if we can at least kind of cut that card draw off our opponent, that'd be another good utility source for us to kind of stop that card draw. Okay, uh, let's go and kick it back over to us, and then let's go ahead, and if they want to swing with the sapling token, they can go for it. Let's go and go for the Hero's Downfall on Calamity. You know, if we had one more unblockable, we could go for that. Or if we wanted to, we can actually go Hostage Taker on Calamity, cast it, and that would be another Pirate. I think I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of do like that a lot. Okay, all right, so we'll go Hostage Taker on Calamity, and then we'll uh, gain control of it and turn it into Pirate. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's get down to the Underground Sea. Let's go Uza Uzama's Jitte. Uh, remove a counter, make it minus one, minus one. Oh, man, I just got worried that I... <laughs> I got super worried that I... Uh, <laughs> I had plussed up the sapling instead of minus. I was like, ooh, I kind of clicked it kind of quick. And that's still going to leave... Make sure we need to leave up um, Hero's Downfall Mana. There we go. Double black, and then it doesn't really matter. All right, so we're going to get Hostage Taker down, enter the battlefield, we're going to exile a creature, we're going to go for the uh, Calamity, and then we'll hopefully we can kind of convince the uh, Calamity to kind of join our pirate ship. Seems like it'd be a pretty cool dude to get on the ship. Okay, so we get the trigger on the stack. Let's go and target uh, <laughs> Mr. Calamity over there, and then we'll have enough mana to cast it next turn. Let's make sure that's going to be one, two, three, four. Yeah, there'll be five total mana. All right, so we're going to push in with the whole crew, whole pirate crew, and then we're still get those charge counters. We can actually remove one of the charge counters if we want to to give target creature plus two, plus two. That's going to be Admiral Beckett. If we're trying to push in commander damage, we can go for that, but I think at this point, I kind of like holding up the charge counters to go for the minus one activations. 
Okay, it's going to swing with the whole crew. It's going to be uh, 2, 5. It's going to be 7 coming across, which is going to put our opponent down to 17. Like I said, we do have the Uwamzal Jute if we want to go for the plus 2, plus 2. But let's just, I like kind of holding on to it as another source of removal. Especially we're going to have 4 on there. That's going to be a pretty good chunk over there. Okay, and then next turn, you know, if we want to go for the plus four, plus two, plus two times four on Admiral Beckett, we might get into spots where we can kind of push some combat uh, commander damage through in there. All right, and then we'll get the Admiral Beckett trigger at the end of our end step. Anything else? Now we're going to go and leave up uh, that one. All right, let's go and gain control, target non land permanent. <laughs> Elemental Bond, come on over here. We're going to strategically acquire you for the Admiral Beckett ghost ship. All right, there we go. Anything else? We're going to go and pass the turn. Feels pretty good to steal that. And it's funny because in all of my, my playtesting, I've probably played about five or six games. Um, that's the first time I've gotten to get an Admiral Beckett uh, uh, triggered ability to steal something. So I'm actually pretty excited. And it's kind of a first time for me. You know, Elemental Bond, it is what it is. But hey, you know, if we get some down some, uh, some bigger creatures, then we can kind of take advantage of it. Okay, opponent's going to pass it over to us. They're not getting anything down at this point right now. So we may end up kind of pushing in with the... Okay, opponent scoops it up. Not really sure. Uh, sorry, they took a weird pause right there, so I kind of paused the video for a second. I didn't know if they're going away from computer. Uh, but as far as next turn, we're going to be swinging in. That's going to be three. That's going to be five. That's going to be eight. And then ten coming across. And then we had the four Uwazama Jite triggers, counters, to kind of put on one of our creatures. So that would have been lethal on there. And if our opponent had anything on the board, uh, we'd have been to go for a hero's downfall. Or we simply had the Admiral Beckett, not a uh, hostage taker, but we had the Admiral Beckett swinging in next turn. And we also had the uh, Calamity trigger right there. So, but yeah, that's a nice little showing of what you can kind of do with Admiral Beckett if you're not running a ton of pirates. So, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.